What's up guys, Black Rose Duelist here, and it's pretty late right now, so I'm pretty tired, so sorry if I don't seem that energetic, but I did promise I'd release my DDDD, DDD deck profile, um, today, so it's a little over today, but it still counts, um, so I do realize I messed up in some of the duels, um, if you've never watched, uh, I use this deck in my Battle of the Roses series, I'll leave a, uh, link in the description below um, and it did pretty good so if you want to see this deck in action uh, make sure to check those links down below um, but I do understand they did misplay a bit with this deck and this was the first time I've ever played this deck so um, you have to be a little understandable but the deck is really really good so the deck focuses around obviously pendulum summoning but also all of every other form of uh, summoning except for Ritual and I think that's just it. They have XC, they have Synchro, they have Fusion, so Pendulum. So the deck revolves around all those types of summoning and spamming the monsters. So I'm going to go through the deck list and I'll explain some things. 3 DDD, Oblivion, King, Abyss, Ragnarok, 3 Leonidas, 2 Newton, 2 Orthros, 1 Lilith, Two Corpinicus. <laughs> two Night Howling. Three Swirl Slime. One Necro Slime. Two Lamnia. Three Kepler. I think a lot of them have names based off of famous um, scientists. Two Yummy Makai. Three Covenant of the Dark Gate. Three Swamp King. Two Mirror Storm Mirror Force. Two Breakthrough Skill. Two uh, Valkyrie, two uh, Mistaken Seal. For the extra deck, we have two DDDD, Caesar, Ragnarok, the Wave, zero, 00. Two Cruel Dragon King, Buelf. Two Oracle King, Diark. Two Blazing King, Genghis. Two DDD, 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 Cursed. I'm going to butcher a lot of these names. Sorry. Cursed King Siegfried. Um, I guess Yu Gi Oh Pro was extremely lazy and couldn't put the um picture of Siegfried, but he's a level eight synchro. Two D D D Alexander the Great King, the King of Gales. One D D D Twin Dawn King Kaliuga. One Sniping King Tau. And one Wave King Caesar. So, sorry, that was a struggle. Um. I need to work on these names, but, um, so you have the Swirl Slimes, and they actually help a ton. Um, you can basically fusion in hand with them, so you don't need the fusion spell, but the fusion spell is really good because it is continuous. So, the second point of the deck, is you have all these continuous spells that deal a thousand damage to you, but you get effects for them, um, every turn. So basically, this one, you add, uh, you place pendulum skills, this one searches a DDD, this one fusions them. And at your standby phase, you take a thousand. But a lot of them either make the uh, damage zero, or they uh, you gain the damage instead. So uh, King Diarc is a really special one because you can have five covenants, dark contracts, whatever, and you'll gain the 5,000 instead of losing the 5,000. But... As you probably saw in the duel, I kind of, that backfired for me. I was a little too greedy. I put three out here when I didn't need to, and he killed my D arc, and that killed me. So you have to be really careful with that. Um, your Ragnarok really helps to spam. Um, when he's in your pendulum zone and you switch him in a DD, you can switch him in another DD from your graveyard. Uh, King Ragnarok, when you take effect damage, you can switch him in him. Then uh, you gain the damage you took. It's effect damage. Um, now for the ones I'd take out. I'd probably take out Newton, and probably take out Orthros, and I'd take out Cumpernicus. <laughs> Sorry, which that name. Maybe Lamnia, but Lamnia you have pretty good plays with. Um, didn't really find a good play with, especially Orthros and Newton. Um, Corpernicus, you can uh, mill the Lamnia, which is decent-ish. But I'd probably replace them with Upstarts, maybe Reckless Greeds, I don't know. But definitely uh, three upstart, probably. Um, besides that, Night Hobbling, Special Summons a DD, you can summon one of the big ones if you want. Um, really go, try to go into uh, Beowulf and Heavy Storm, your, the field, 
and then go into Air Ragnarok, which is 3200, and then absorb its monsters like a cell or a, um, I don't know, like, yeah, cell from Dragon Ball Z almost. It absorbs your opponent's monsters and gains their attack, so you can become really big. I think in the match I got him at 7600, so that's pretty crazy. The deck basically just focuses around synchro summoning, C summoning, fusion summoning, spamming all your DDDs until you get a field full of them and then kill your opponent with them. So, tell me what you think about this deck in the comment section below. I know there are many, many changes they need to do with this deck, but that's just part of life. So, if you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to check out this deck in action if you want to see it in action. Um, yeah, anyways, this is Black Rose Rules, and I'll see you guys later.